Welcome back, scholars. Hey, let's go ahead and get the answer to this. If you use your reference sheet, you get to know that five weeks, you break it down, five weeks is equal to five times one week, which can be broken to five times seven days. And five times seven equals 35, so it's 35 days. Let's get back to our slides here. Broke it down just the way I did. Five times seven equals 35. You have another, uh, draw it. <clears throat> I want you to go ahead and take the time to do this. Then we'll go over the answer. You have three minutes. Pausing the video in three, two, one. Pause. Welcome back, scholars. Hey, let's see what you got for the answer. All right, here we go. We're doing, looking at time. So we have three hours equals how many minutes? Three hours equals how many minutes? Well, we know that we can break this down into three times one hour. And if we look at a reference sheet, we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So if I go over to my flex cam, do this very quickly, three hours equals how many minutes? One times three hours. I can change the hours to minutes. So what is the answer? Excellent. Yes, the answer is 180 minutes. Way to go, guys. All right. You have another draw it here. Go ahead and do this. I will meet you in the next video. No, I'm just going to go ahead and pause it. Let me pause it here. Welcome back. You have three minutes for that one. Let's go ahead and get to the answer. The answer here is going to be in centimeters. We have one and five one hundredths of a meter. How much is that in centimeters? Well, we know that we can take one and five hundredths meter times one meter to get the answer. When we look up how many centimeters a meter equals, we get 100 centimeters. So what is 105 one and five hundreds meter equal to in centimeters. Excellent. Let me go ahead and give you the answer. It is 105 centimeters. Yes, well done. Let's go to the next one. Guys, you're doing fantastic. You have three minutes. Pausing the video here. All right, guys, way to go, way to go. Let's get to the answer. This one happens to be in pounds and ounces. You have 56 and 75 hundreds equals how many ounces? Hmm. So we know that 50, it equals 56 and 75 hundred times one pound. We can look up one pound equals how many ounces? It equals... How many ounces? Right. You're right. 16 ounces. So we can multiply 56 and 75 hundreds times 16 ounces to get the answer. So what is the answer? Excellent. Excellent. The answer is 908 ounces. Way to go, guys. Good job. You have one more here. This is going to be looking at weeks and days again. Go ahead and take your time. You got three minutes. Pause in the video. Excellent. Excellent. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let me go ahead. You got eight weeks times Convert weeks to days. You have eight weeks equals how many days? Seven days. 
So, how many do you have? Excellent, you have a total of 56 days, yes. There, mark them off on the calendar. All right, you're ready for your classwork. You have 10 minutes to complete it. I believe you only have one in there. It's doing uh, meters to centimeters. Once you're done, we'll be back. Oh, you have two, excuse me. You have two problems. Once you're back, done, we'll go over the answer. I'll see you in the next slide.